Ah, FNAF, a game franchise with literally thousands of characters and animatronics, with many of them being seen throughout the games, books, merch, and other various sources of related media. I've looked at various fan-made animatronics, hoaxes, easter eggs, and much more, but over a year ago I made a couple videos talking about those topics. With that being said, I've begun recreating said videos using new information and so on as of recent, but I haven't remade one talking about the most forgotten FNAF animatronics, so I feel like it's finally time for me to revisit this topic. So that brings me to the question, what is the most forgotten FNAF animatronic ever? Well the question might seem very difficult to answer, and that's because it is, but in this video we're going to take a look at what I think is one of the most forgotten FNAF animatronics of all time, with even Scott Cawthon thinking so as well. But before we talk about the most forgotten one, let's take a look at a couple of other forgotten animatronics from the FNAF franchise. So before I begin, make sure to subscribe if you love Five Nights at Freddy's. Now when it comes to talking about forgotten animatronics, a majority of FNAF fans are going to point at the animatronic slash character seen in FNAF world which is reasonable, as many characters seen in that game are never seen in any other FNAF media, except for a few exceptions. But for that reason, I'm actually going to be avoiding FNAF World, but instead I will just be looking at animatronics from the main games instead. Plus every other video talking about forgotten FNAF animatronics include characters from FNAF World, so that's another reason why I'm just going to avoid talking about it in general. Anyways, I have a question for you. What does the cupcake look like? Well, now you might be thinking about the FNAF 1 cupcake, or the FNAF 2 cupcake designs, or even the FNAF 4 version of the cupcake. But did you know that there was actually a Funtime cupcake? Oh yeah, did you also know that there's a Funtime Chica? Because that's who holds this version of the cupcake. Now I'm sure diehard FNAF fans know about these, but anyone other than that probably doesn't. Well, there's good reason for that, because these characters aren't even featured in the same game as the rest of the Funtimes are. Funtime Chica and the cupcake would fit perfectly well in FNAF's location, but no, for some reason they had their debut in Pizzeria Simulator. Later. But do you think that's the only version of the cupcake that's forgotten? Well, no, because in FNAF 3 there was actually a golden version of the cupcake, which was only seen on drawings on the wall in the game, until the Freddy Files book confirmed it was an actual real animatronic with this image. A lot of people also say that the shadow cupcake is forgotten, but I disagree, mainly because it is used to complete the good ending for FNAF 3. So I mean, I guess it could be if you never done the easter egg steps to achieve the good ending, but that's just my opinion, I really don't think it's that forgotten. But I want to look at one more forgotten animatronic before we take a look at the one you've all been waiting for, with that being the most forgotten one. But the last animatronic we're going to take a look at real quickly before we get to that one was also seen in FNAF 3, and that is the Phantom Shadow Freddy animatronic. Now you might be saying, who is Phantom Shadow Freddy? And I'd respond back saying, exactly. Phantom Shadow Freddy can be seen in the left corner of the office on a very rare occasion as an easter egg. The main reason I'm including him is because during my early days of YouTube, I actually made a couple of videos talking about him, where I actually mistook him from Golden Freddy. And it goes to show how obscure this animatronic is, plus it also doesn't really help that the lighting makes him resemble Golden Freddy instead. The only reason we know it's Shadow Freddy is because the file name is, well, Shadow Freddy. Once you brighten up the image, you can see clearly that he is purple, but you can't see the purple during normal gameplay, which makes him look like a Shadow, Phantom, Golden Freddy thingamabobber. Anyways, it's finally time to get onto the main, and arguably most forgotten animatronic that is the main focus of this video, with that being Dark Spring Trap. Now for the people who already know who Dark Spring Trap is, I can already hear the typing on your keyboard and phone as you begin to start writing a paragraph on why I am wrong, and I'm not gonna stop you. But while you do that, I'm gonna explain who Dark Springtrap is to the people who don't know who he is. Dark Springtrap is, well, Springtrap, but just instead a different variant of him. He appears in the ending cutscene for FNAF Sister Location after you complete Golden Freddy mode on the very hard difficulty setting. There is a couple of notable differences in Dark Springtrap's character model compared to normal Springtrap, with the main couple of things being the fact he is a darker color, and the fact he is missing his pelvis and a wire on his ear. The main reason we know he is a real character is because of a couple of things, which I'll get into in a second here. Many people originally thought Dark Springtrap was a hoax, or just a name fans came up with, but that was until Funko released this Funko Pop, along with some other merchandise which confirmed that he was real. But even then, people still thought he was fake, or at the very least, a rebrand slash OC for Funko, but then that was until Scott Cawthon confirmed it himself. In an Instagram post made from one of the designers of the merch, they commented this, the idea is from Scott Cawthon, Dark Springtrap is an easter egg character in Sister Location Custom Nights, which after this, Scott would confirm is true. But if that wasn't enough proof still, then in 2017, when the Freddy Files book released, we finally got 100% definitive proof that Scott wasn't trolling us or that Dark Springtrap wasn't a Funka OC, because on page 149, we finally got proof that Dark Springtrap is real, and this is what the page reads. Dark Springtrap makes a very brief appearance in Sister Location, in a cutscene viewable after all the Custom Nights have been completed. In this scene, he has a shadowy, possibly fire 
damaged look, seemingly just to confirm he's still around. Then moving down the page, there is still more information. Quote, this variant of Springtrap who's missing even more parts in the regular version was only named when the Funko Pop was released, where he was called Dark Springtrap. He hasn't appeared again since his location. And seemingly just like that, this character was finally confirmed, and it was put out to a more casual audience of the FNAF franchise due to it being featured in this book. But that still doesn't mean it's any less forgotten, or at least it doesn't mean that to Scott Cawthon. On a Reddit post in the FNAF Reddit page, the Freddy channel made a post talking about Dark Springtrap, titled, Annual Reminder That Scott Created Dark Springtrap, Not Funko. He is a canon character, he's basically just withered Springtrap. This post contains the Instagram post I mentioned earlier, but it also contains a comment from Scott Cawthon himself where he would talk about a funny story including Dark Springtrap, and in said story, he specifically mentions how Dark Springtrap is arguably the most obscure character in the franchise. So with all that being said, to the people who are still typing out the long and angry paragraph disagreeing with me on this, well that's fine, but how are you gonna disagree with the man who made bro? I mean Scott Cawthon, like what are you gonna do, say no that he's wrong? I mean, he literally made it. Now anyways, since I've given Dark Springtrap his proper explanation and background deep dive, there's only a couple more things to talk about and look at when it comes to him. And those are the things that made him even become a forgotten character in the first place, with that being the merch of him. Now there isn't a lot of merch of him, but there is some, regardless of how little it is, and it's all made from Funko. Firstly, we have the Funko Pop made of him, which is a more shiny and dark version of the normal Funko Pop of him. He isn't missing his pelvis or ear wire in this rendition, but other than that, the only change that he really has is his white eyes, which I think looks really cool. Then there is also the mystery mini version of him, which is pretty much the same as the Funko Pop. Oh yeah, and there's also a pint sized version of him as well. Not really much to say about these little guys, but they are just there. There's also another piece of merch of him, which I cannot find right now, so I can't really go into detail about it, but I do know that there is another figurine of him out there that has red eyes instead, and I'm pretty sure the design is still the same, but as I said, I couldn't find it before I wrote the script, so uh, if it's on screen right now, then you'll just see how it looks. Now, I feel like I'm also forgetting something. Oh yeah, Dark Springtrap was also featured in the very popular FNAF fan game Ultra Custom Night. This game definitely helped him get into the spotlight more and also provided us with some really good and accurate renders of him, along with the one I used in my thumbnail. There isn't really anything special to note about this, but I thought I should mention it anyways. Hey, it's Future Gavin here, and I realized I forgot to talk about something that is very forgotten when it comes to Dark Springtrap, even though he is the most forgotten character, so it makes sense that this is also forgotten. But if any of you guys know my content or know what I like, I love hoaxes and there is also a hoax about Dark Springtrap. The hoax goes that in Ultimate Custom Night, there was a way to get Dark Springtrap into your game, whether it be through DD or some other various way. But a very rare and obscure image started flowing online a couple years ago when Ultimate Custom Night released, and it shows an image of a Dark Springtrap jump scare. Now, even though there isn't a lot of information about this hoax, if you want to figure out all the information and juicy details about it, you can click on the end screen at the end of this video to watch that video, where I talked about the Dark Springtrap trap hoax and went into full detail about it. But if there is anything I missed regarding these characters, please let me know in the comments. And if I missed your favorite forgotten FNAF animatronic, make sure to click on one of these videos on screen right now as it is probably in one of those videos.